Hi, my name is Boris and in this video I'm going to show you 30 useful keyboard shortcuts for Ableton Live. These can really speed up your workflow and even allow for some secret shortcut only functions. Before we get into the video, if you like what we are doing on this channel, make sure to subscribe. We've got more content about Ableton coming up. If you would like to learn Ableton 12 with all of the foundations of music production, check out our beginner to advanced Live 12 start to finish course. And make sure to also check out the Everything Bundle Collector's Edition, which includes all of the courses, sound packs and project files in our store. For the links, check the video description. All right, so let's get started. So we have a full project file loaded up here. The first shortcut I hope everyone knows, and it's simply tab. And that's switching from arrangement to session and from session to arrangement. Really simple. Now, if we're on a certain track and we're in the device view, we can simply go into the clip view by pressing shift and tab. And that's same on Mac and on Windows. So shift and tab and we're back in the device view. Now, if we want to group tracks, it's obviously possible if we select tracks, right click and go to group tracks. But as you can see, it's also control and G or on Mac, that's Command and G. Command is very often a substitute on Mac for control on Windows, but it's not every single time. All right, another shortcut that I really often used is control and comma, and that just opens up the preferences. On Mac, that's command and comma. If you quickly want to change your audio interface or something, or quickly rescan for a new VST, that's really easy. You don't even have to go out of the full screen mode, which by the way is obviously F11. Okay, so let's say we want to save this project. We can just hit control on Windows or command on Mac, plus shift, plus S, and you can easily save it. Now, if you'd like to export the track, you can do the same thing, Control or Command plus Shift plus R, and you can easily export it. Just make sure to select the right range, the in and out point, for instance, by selecting this loop right here, Control or Command, Shift, R, and you can export it. All right, so what if we want to turn on the MIDI keyboard on our QWERTY keyboard? You just hit M and this button pops up, same with turning it off. And now we can play instruments with QWERTY. For the next shortcut, make sure that the QWERTY MIDI keyboard is turned off. So pressing M and now we can press A and that just enables the automations. So it's this button right here. And here you're gonna see all the automations when you open up the tracks. So A is really a useful button. You don't have to search for this little button right here. And if you want automations, you can have them. When you click it once again, it's all really tidy and folded. Now, as for moving inside the project, we can zoom You can click over here, of course, where your mouse turns into magnifying glass, move your mouse down and you zoom in. You can also do it with the scroll wheel. So you can press Control on Windows or Command on Mac and you can just scroll up and down to zoom in and out. And depending where your mouse is, that's the point that's gonna be zoomed into. You can also expand and make a track bigger. So we can just hold Alt on Windows or Option on Mac and here we can expand certain groups and tracks. If you would like to set the loop brace to a certain part, you can of course select this area, click Control on Windows or Command on Mac and L as for loop and the loop brace moves to this area. Same happens in the clip view. For instance, if we select this area, Control or Command and L and we're looping this area. If you would like to cut a certain clip, you can just select the cut point and click Control or Command and E and now this clip is split. Of course, undoing is Control or Command and Z. So that's a shortcut that I use all the time as well. We can rename clips, of course, Control or Command and R. For example, we can also double clips really easily by Control or Command and D. Now, I really want to show you some time stretching features, which are pretty much only accessible through these shortcuts. So on both Windows and Mac, if we have a warped clip, this one is warped, and we hold Shift and drag the end of a clip we can drag it left and right. And if we have a bigger grid, it's just going to snap to that grid. We can also do this off grid and the button that temporarily disables the grid is Alt on Windows or Command on Mac. I'm gonna do Alt, Shift and drag. And as you can see, I'm dragging outside the grid and that same would happen on Mac if we held Command, Shift and dragged. Now you can also move around the audio here without actually going into the clip itself. And that's possible by clicking Control on Windows or Option on Mac, and then your mouse turns into a pointing hand and you can drag your audio left and right. So that's Control, Shift and drag. 
or on Mac, Option, Shift and Drag. And now the same applies if we want to do this off the grid. So we just need to add Alt or Command. So, so on Windows, that would be Alt and Control, Shift and Drag. And as you can see, we're outside the grid. And on Mac, that would be Command, Option, Shift and Drag. All right, so let's say we have this entire project and we want to insert some silence right here. So we could actually just cut everything and paste it somewhere later, but there's an easier option. You can just select a certain area and you can just click Control on Windows or Command on Mac and I. And you just insert this amount of time before the selected area. On the other hand, if you want to delete a certain section, you can just hold Shift, Control on Windows or Command on Mac and press backspace or delete. Now when it comes to MIDI, if we want to add a new track, it's also a really useful shortcut. It's Control or Command, Shift and T, and we have a brand new MIDI track. If you'd like to create a new MIDI clip, you can just select a certain area, Control or Command, Shift and M, and it already opens up that clip in the clip view, and you can ride it straight away. And if you'd like to create a new audio track, it's Control or Command and T and we have a brand new audio track. Now in Ableton Live 12, there's a really awesome feature of having the mixer displayed in arrangement view, and you could click right here to open it up, but there's a cool shortcut on Windows that's Control, Alt and M, and on Mac that would be Option, Command and M. Now the same shortcuts apply to showing inputs and outputs over here. So Control, Alt and I shows the inputs and outputs, the same applies to Mac, so Option, Command, I. We also can apply this shortcut to the browser, just changing the I to B, so Control, Alt, B on Windows, or Option, Command, and B on Mac. Now let's go into this MIDI clip and let's draw in some notes. We could double click and extend some notes, but we can also do this easier. We can just click B, both on Windows and Mac, and we can draw in some notes this way. And we can, for example, click Control and A, and that selects all of the notes and we can extend them over. Now we can also change the grid size, and this applies both to the clip view and the arrangement view. And the grid size is easily changed with Control and 1 or Control and 2. And the same applies to Mac, it's only Command and 1 or Command and 2. Now, if we wanted to, for example, quantize these notes to the grid, we just click Control on Windows or Command on Mac and U. And this quantizes all of these notes. And the last technique I wanted to show you for today is if we have a grid that's narrower than our notes, we can chop them on the grid. And for that, it's a simple shortcut, Control and E or Command and E on Mac. And this just chops all of the notes to the grid. All right, I hope you found some of these shortcuts useful. Make sure to check out our Music Production Academy with lots of start to finish courses on making tracks in various genres. And if you'd like to learn Ableton 12 with all of the foundations of music production, check out our Beginner to Advanced Live 12 start to finish course. Make sure to also see the Everything Bundle Collector's Edition, which includes all courses, sound packs and project files in our store. All of that will be linked in the video description. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like, write us a comment if you have any other shortcuts that I missed, and I will see you in the next videos.